All right, today we're going to go in three different ways to transfer files to your Steam Deck. This was a question that someone asked, so if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. It gives me ideas for future videos. And hit that like and subscribe button as I progress to a thousand subs. Maybe one day I can get a dollar or two from this channel. That'd be just swell. But this person asks, are USBs necessary? How to even transfer ROMs? I just want to pay someone at this point. I totally understand your frustration. Hopefully we can break down some easy ways to transfer files to your Steam Deck today. Let's get right into it. USB. So I formatted this USB to be FAT32. You might have some problems if you have a different kind of device. Go into Disk Utility or something similar on Windows and format that bad boy. If you don't have anything important on there, you do format it as FAT32. Let me go ahead and plug that bad boy into the Steam Deck, and once we've plugged that in, you should see Mount and Open. I'm going to go ahead and mount that and open it up. And here we can see it. If for some reason you need to find out where it's mounted this, we can go to the root file system, and in Run Media, you'll see not only did it mount it inside this deck folder here, but you can also see I've got an SD card, so if you have an SD card, it should be here. I did actually manually mount it, so maybe yours is mounted in a slightly different location. But it auto-mounted my USB Fat Mac to Deck Fat Mac. So here's our USB. Now if we want to transfer a file from this location that it's mounted our drive to, we can go into whatever file or folder we have, copy our file, go to some destination, and paste it. Number two, Warpinator. This one's a little bit more complicated to set up, but the pros of this method are you don't need a USB. If you don't have a USB, you can get Warpinator from the Discover store on Steam Deck. Some preferences, you can change where it downloads files, whether it should ask, whether it starts automatically. In the connection settings, you can change the group, whether it's connected via Ethernet or wireless on the WLAN 0 down there. This does require it on both devices, so here's the source, and here's somebody's other version for Windows. I'll put these links in the description below. After downloading it and extracting it and open it up, we're going to go ahead and run that purple guy, Warpinator EXE. No, thank you. And I've noticed, well, you'll actually, <laughs> I don't know how your network is set up, so I'm just going to assume. And maybe you don't know what your network is, and we'll head public and then allow it, so it just works. But I actually had to go back to my Steam Deck and close and restart it for it to recognize it. So here it's actually recognized it. But I did something weird, and I changed the group name because I thought I was clever. So seeing that I changed the group name there, and it was expecting it to be Warpinator, I will make sure that matches. We'll apply it, and we will restart that. And now I'm showing up on both devices there. We click into that guy, we can select a file to transfer, or a zip, whole folder here. We send that over, and on the Steam Deck you can see we have received it. This goes both ways though, so if you wanted to send a file the other direction, you can do that. Send a file the other direction, you would go in here and hit send files. Browse to a file that you want to send, select it, and send it. The difference being is I haven't set to auto accept on the desktop, so I had to manually go back and accept that. The final method, SFTP, Secure File Transfer Protocol. If you're on Windows, I recommend Windows Secure Copy. Some alternatives to that are FileZilla, CyberDuck I recommend. I've used that one on Mac OS for sure. And Transmit which is what I'm using today on macOS. So download whatever app you fancy. They all look pretty similar here. On the left-hand side, you'll have your local machine. Here's my user folder with all my crap. And I have it opened up in the, the right-hand side. But usually you'd have a different computer over there, so you could transfer stuff left and right. So here we'll go into games and ROMs, and let's say, for instance, this is a folder that I use quite often. You can actually go into the preferences here and then say Windows opens with... And I can set this to open that folder 
automatically, so I don't have to keep popping in here and going into games, ROMs. This will depend on your configuration if this is a helpful tip for you. But now it'll automatically open this ROMs folder here. And then on this, we will change from local machines to servers. You can see I've already set up two servers, one for Wi-Fi, one for Ethernet. We will add one. This is how you will create a new connection. Make a new SFTP connection. We'll give it some sort of unique name here. It's connected to Wi-Fi. You might want to differentiate it. Because if you dock it, uh, mine gets a different IP address because I haven't set up a static IP or anything fancy. It's just automatically getting different IPs. I recommend the Thing app on iPhone or Android so you can scan your network and figure out what this IP address is. Mine is this, but yours will be different. You can also run IP ADDR address show, IP address show in the terminal. Back over on the desk, uh, the Steam Deck, you can see our user is deck at Steam Deck. And if you haven't ran password to set your user password, go ahead and run that and set your password accordingly. I've already set mine, so I'm not going to change it. But that's what you will enter here for user and password. And now you can pop straight into the Steam Deck. This is the deck, the deck folder, user deck. Here's my downloads. And here's another pro tip. I find myself often going into the Minecraft's GD launcher and adding mods and resource packs, and I get tired of going into here. So we're going to copy this path. I'm going to go back into my configuration, and if you paste this remote path, now it'll go straight to that folder. I actually duplicated the, uh, the setup and then made a separate setup. Here's an example of how to transfer a file. We're in the Game Boy Advance folder that MU Deck set up, and then on the left-hand side, we're in my my computer's ROMs folder, and you can just drag and drop. Or if you click twice or enter on one side, it will go to the other side. And that's it. I hope this helped you. If it did, hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you again.